Janet Jackson has delayed a concert tour of Australia to attend these final days of the trial. As she and the other family members arrived at court, the defence strategy was clear. To present Michael Jackson as an addict under mounting commercial pressure as he rehearsed for his make or break London comeback tour. The defence lawyers are arguing that a desperate Jackson took an overdose himself and that by implication Dr Conrad Murray should not be convicted of manslaughter. I'm sorry. A former nurse for Michael Jackson was on the stand today and at the start she was visibly overwhelmed. No, I, I'm feeling really, really dizzy and I'm sorry my vision has just become a little blurred. Cherilyn Lee said Jackson had been given the sedative propofol during an operation and insisted it was a cure for his chronic insomnia. And based on you know, his experience from the surgery, he said, I know this would knock me out. As soon as it gets into my vein, I am knocked out. A prosecution lawyer recalled a conversation between the nurse and the singer. You indicated to Michael Jackson, I understand you want a good night's sleep. You want to be, quote, and use, quote, knocked out. But what if you don't wake up? Correct? Yes. And he responded again, I will be okay. I only need someone to monitor me with the equipment while I sleep. Yes, that's exactly what he said. But defense witnesses are not always helping Dr. Murray. Alan Metzger was a long-serving Jackson doctor. Did you ever give Michael Jackson propofol? Never. Is there any amount of money that you would have... Uh, that would have convinced you to give him intravenous propofol in his house? Absolutely not. The jury has also seen the last images of the singer's convoy as he arrived back from a rehearsal. Twelve hours later, he left through the same gate. Michael Jackson already dead from that overdose of sedatives. Robert Moore, ITV News, in the United States.